The show starts in five minutes. From Gilbert Autorama comes the excitement and competition of the famous Indianapolis Speedway, featuring the exclusive new Gilbert flyover chicane. Watch the stock cars in slow motion. Up and go. Gilbert makes cars rugged enough to take this kind of punishment. And look at the great assortment of Gilbert cars to choose from. The roughest, toughest, most realistic cars on the road. Past the timer, through the lap counter. Now with stock cars up to the Gilbert flyover chicane. Only this time in midair, the cars change lanes. And look, just like that, your Gilbert car track can become a horse race track with these exclusive lively trotters. Get all these Indianapolis Speedway extras separately and be sure to get your complete Gilbert Autorama layout. Look at Gilbert toys first. They last. The show starts in four minutes. Wonderful anniversary, dear, and thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me... What? Try to do something about your coffee. I hoped it would be better today. Tastes good as fresh perked, because it is. minutes away from the start of our next feature. Still time to visit our refreshment stand. Folks, and a hearty welcome oh, wow. to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy Ooh, yourself. What a hamburger. Don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm, so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back oh, soon. Oh, wow. Here's the thing. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, to anywhere you like. It goes. Here's new velvet. Her hair grows, just like her cousin, beautiful Chrissy. You can make Velvet's hair short, or make it grow. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, it grows. Mm, what a hamburger. Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread gives you seven ounces of non-fat milk solids in every loaf. The equal of 90 quarts a year if you serve it regularly. Every sandwich you make, every snack, gives you extra milk. For wonderful flavor combined with sound food values, serve Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread in the pantry pack. And 
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hey, everybody. I'm standing. Happy to have you live, Major 4X4. Can you hear the, the bossa nova? We're listening to bossa nova today. Can we hear the bossa nova and uh, me? Let's do boxes first. Let's do boxes first. Welcome, everybody. I'm just hanging out and cataloging games today. You're just gonna watch me walk over here, pick up some games, I'll walk back over there. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, my battery is low? Hold on. You have to like, I'm gonna look like I'm coming for you here, but I'm not, I'm, I'm just doing things. No, I don't wanna record, I wanna, don't look too close at the palm of my hand, please. There we go. It, it's like that didn't happen. It's like you're like teeny tiny and I'm really like... <laughs> I'm coming for you. How's it going, everybody? I've been working on Bingo 98 stuff. I really wish I could talk about what I have been doing because it is completely unnecessary and awesome, I think. <laughs> but I have to I have to be quiet about it. How's the weather? The weather's pretty good. It's a sunny day today. It's very crisp still. Uh, it's chilly. But I'm hoping tomorrow to spend some time sitting out and reading Animorphs Book 6. I suppose you'll just hear me talk about Animorphs for a solid year until the book club is over. Genex2, thank you for the 11 months. Thanks for the loneliness cure today. Hope you... Uh... Yo, dude! Oh, you. Hope you're watching Ultimate Girls Trip. I'm not. What is... Who is singing? Doo -doo -boo 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 -boo. Very nice, but I can't think. I can't think while I'm uh, being sung at. I don't know what Ultimate Girls Trip is. I'm not watching. I don't know that I'm invited. Electra Kelly, thank you for the seven dollars and change. I'm expecting to see some Uncle Nick in the Magic Forest uh, choreo on the VOD. Oh yeah, maybe we can break up, uh, break out the teeter totter dance. Uh, we'll see. Thank you very much, Electra Kelly. How am I cataloging my games? Okay, so you guys should actually be able to look at my catalog. I'm using a service called LibLib which I think is a library service, but it also has video games. I'm hoping it has PC games. I guess I haven't checked, but I'm assuming it does. And I think if you go to liblib.com slash u slash brutal moose, I think you can browse the collection. I'll put a link to it once it's finished. But it's this, uh, is it pronounced lilib? It's L-I-B, oh, it's Libib. It's not Liblib, it's Libib. Don't listen to me. I've been typing it Liblib. How did I? <laughs> Libib, autocorrect, man. I don't know what anything is anymore. But the cool thing is you can use your phone and you can like scan barcodes and it'll just be like boop. 
Yeah, there you go. Thanks, uh, 8-Bit Kitty Cat. Problem is I put a sticker. Uh, a long time ago, I think it was on a stream actually, I cataloged all this stuff and to mark something cataloged, I put a smiley face sticker on it. That system collapsed, so now I don't have a catalog, but I do have a bunch of smiley face stickers all over my shit. So I won't be doing that again, because that was just a fucking mistake. <laughs> Catalog years in a spreadsheet. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Honestly, being able to scan the barcode, I was able to put in all my, uh, like, PS2 and stuff. Uh, super easy. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try and do Survivor here. Video games, barcode. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so it, it should be on that page now. The problem is that I'm going to have to go through the stack of CDs which don't have barcodes and I'm just going to have to manually insert those. I'm not looking forward to that, but we will cross that bridge. When we, oh, why did I put why was I putting the why was I putting them right on the barcode? Did I go out of the way to put them directly on the barcode? When were I going to say that I own the Aqua Teen Hunger Force? I actually got that for Christmas last year, so I haven't owned it for that long. I don't know why I did this to myself. Can we send games for the bingo streams to the P.O. Box? Yes, that is one of the reasons I'm doing this. Uh, so it's easy to know for you guys to check to see if I own something. Because it's not the end of the world to get a duplicate, but I'd rather avoid it if I could. It didn't find Freddy Fish 2? That's not a good sign. That's a pretty big... That's a pretty big game, right? Oh, shit! It didn't find Freddy Fish 2 because someone put a fucking sticker... ...over it. Maybe? That doesn't make sense. It's sealed. I'm a little confused. I'll just put it in. I'll just put it in manually. Title. Freddy Fish 2. Platform. PC. Is the plastic seal making a reflection? Yes. Yes, it is. This is going to take a while. It sure is. That's kind of why I'm, why I'm streaming it. Uh, that way... That way I don't have to just sit here alone. Still has his scanners. I got my scanners. Do I have... Oh yeah, it's right here. I got my scanners. Beep beep. Beep beep beep. Okay, let's see if it has Riven. Oh my god, I did put it right on the... This is... <laughs> oh my god, I just hate... I hate my past self. Why the fuck would I do that? Oh, it's just the barcode. There's no art on it. Go back in time and tell me not to do that. Go back in time, go in the chat and be like, Hey, dumbass. Oh my god, the other day I was vacuuming and the vacuum got jammed and I had to I had to unjam it a number of times and I got tired of it. I was like, I'm going to leave this last unjamming to my future self. And when I rediscovered that chore later, I was so pissed off. I was like, I, I already had my finger in the vacuum. Why didn't I just finish it? Just like dig that shit out. Don't... <laughs> Don't punt it to when you don't have your finger in the vacuum. 
Okay, no, no barcode on Call of Duty 4, which is a little weird. Did this run on XP? Yeah, I had to put the finger in the vacuum because it was jammed. I had to get the I had to get the stuff out. I was actually working full disclosure. I was working on a chip video, and you know I dump the chips out and they go everywhere. And man, they sure do jam up a vacuum if you don't get all the big pieces. If you say, "Hey, I'll just vacuum up the entire chips. I don't need to pick up the big chips." Yep, yeah, that it's not gonna work. Four, Modern Warfare, Platform PC, Studio Infinity Ward. Am I clean freak? Ah, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a clean freak. I do like it clean. I'm more of like a, yeah, I like it clean, but I'm cluttered. I have clutter, organized clutter piles, you know? But I, I just clean up. I just try and pick up often. Swordzo 2, thank you for the four months. Inventory is the management. Inventory management is the best part of any game, so this should be great. It'll be something. This will be a nice stream if you also have a mindless task to complete. Deep search, it does not know this game. You guys know Ominous Horizons, A Paladin's Calling? Did it get added? Oh shit, I can just, I don't have to type it in, I can search it on here. Ominous. Do I have these sealed games from 20 years ago or do I look for them? I look for them, it doesn't know <laughs> Ominous, it doesn't know Ominous Horizons. Is it the prequel to Horizon World? I don't know. But Paul Crouch Jr. says it's beautifully built. It's a joy to know my son can immerse himself in such an interactive game without the threat of blood, guts, or gore. Great job, Enlightening Software. Well, that... Oh, it's a Jesus game! Oh, they got crosses on the back. We gotta play this. It's like, uh, what was that, uh, Catechumen? Acquire spiritual armor and an array of divine weaponry. Explore complex dungeons, mazes, puzzles, and secret quests. First person adventure. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So that's pretty cool. Didn't know I had this. Have no idea where this came from. If you search Google, you can find a UPC code that Libib can find regardless of what's on your box. Let's see here. This might not have an ISBN. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah it does. Oh, it says search by UPC or keyword. Oh. Well, look at me. Oh shit, it worked. Oh, it got the box art and everything. Hell yeah. Well, you can check out my collection and uh, look at the box art on that if you want. Oh my god. These stickers, man. 
Chili McCreel. Thank you for these seven months. Ian, loved the bingo and the fact that the notifications are working. Thank you for the fun streams and I'm hyped for season two. How many boxes do you have of games? This whole shelf is uh, pretty much my big box and not a, not a ton, unless you consider a full bookshelf to be a ton, then one ton. <laughs> Specifically one ton. Inuiri, thank you for the four months. Happy Wednesday, Ian. Happy Wednesday. My organization of Win98 I'm doing through a software called Libib. And you populate lists by scanning barcodes. Or, uh, what I'm going to be doing today, <laughs> looking for UPC codes. Oh wait, no, it found it! Okay, I haven't played this one. Anyone play, uh, Hotel, Hotel Giant Maximum Capacity? It looks good, honestly, it looks pretty good. This one showed up, but it, it had to, it had to go, it had to search the deep web. It didn't find it until it searched on the deep web. Not great for folks without boxes. Yeah, that's gonna be me once I once I run out of boxes. <laughs> Am I a Sim Tower fan? I've never played Sim Tower. Insane Aquarium. It knew. Alibi and Ashes. No items. No items for Alibi and Ashes. Got that UPC code. Insane Aquarium wasn't one that I uh, played growing up, but it is kind of, it's, I don't know. It seems like something that should be relaxing, but it's, it's actually really stressful. How do they not have Nancy Drew alibi in ashes? Come on. No, mm. Mo Chicken, thank you for the 70 months. Boy, you are a streaming fool recently. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much, Mo. Uh, thank you guys for joining me in my low key stream while we wait for uh, something bigger to roll around, roll, roll along, roll around. We're waiting on something bigger. I guess I'm gonna put stuff I have scanned. I guess I'll just set it down for now. This is a great chance to, uh, oh, my knees. I mean, uh, I'm young, young. Old, <laughs> mm, old man Ian. F in the chat for knees. I had to take a break for my, I've started to use a rowing machine for exercise. I had to take a break because I, I don't know. I, I pulled something. I don't know what I did, but I just got back today and now my knees. I don't know how I got so old, man. Probably sitting in a chair for years and uh, just sitting there. Thank you, thank you. It was a, it was a feat. Do I stretch before I exercise? Nah, you stretch while you exercise. The exercise is the stretch. How do you stretch a knee? You can't stretch a knee. 
Can you? How do you how do you stretch a knee? Something like that. Draxy, thank you for the 84 months. Ooh, that actually doesn't feel bad. Hiya, Moose. Hiya, Draxy. Good to see you. Bend it backwards to get limber. Okay. Disaster Pokemon 1. Thank you for the six months. Hey, Ian. Glad to be able to catch your stream from almost the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, me too. Look up yoga with, oh man, I used to do, I used to do yoga on YouTube. But I can't do that and row, man. You gotta pick one or the other. You can't do, I can't do two things. <laughs> How am I supposed to, I used to play Wii Fit. Yeah, I used to play Wii Fit too. I did that for a while. Yeah, yeah, Tabaxi, you nailed it. You nailed it. Oh yeah, dance workout with Barbie. I got that VHS. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Oh fuck! Oh. One thing about this barcode scanner thing, you scan an item and then it adds it, and it gives you an option of scan another item and delete item. And they're very close, so it's very easy to hit delete and have to rescan. It's just a real struggle. I'm just, uh, you know, fighting, oh, fighting these fucking barcode stickers. Skull Pirate Mike, thank you so very much for the 58 months. Dane Lidra, thank you for the three months. Grieving Glory, thank you for the three months. Hi, Ian. I'm loving the Bingo 98 videos so far and can't wait to catch up. Have you heard of My Little Pony Friendship Gardens? It was my favorite CD-ROM to play, and it'd be fun to see in the next Bingo 98 season. I think I actually do have a My Little Pony PC game of some sort. I'm not, I'm not familiar enough to know what it is, but maybe we'll figure that out today as I catalog. Probably won't need to rip the sticker. Even if it covers like a... Uh... Oh yeah, I guess I don't have to. Oh yeah. But then there's... A... This is a great chance to get all those stickers off. Whoops. Whoopsie. Gotta move my little moose guy. Man, I got some cool stuff up here that needs to find a home. What are you watching? <laughs> You're watching me go pick up games. The uh, it's the high intensity stream. It's the brutal move stream, man. Do I prefer restaurant food or making it at home? I mean, if money were no object, restaurant food. Uh, I don't. I get so impatient with cooking. That's why I use HelloFresh. That's about as, that's honestly about as detailed. I actually don't do the cooking, so. I can't complain that much. Deep search, it's looking for paparazzi. Paparazzi, the million dollar shot, which I have no idea what it is. Brutal Boyfriend does like cooking. What is it? Say, what is it? Hey, why it fired cup? Popcorn. Which I am grateful for. Because then I just get to eat the delicious food. 
Okay, this thing does not know paparazzi the million dollar shot. I do not know it either. I'm pretty sure I got this one while I was still doing retro PC reviews all the time. Studio, who made this? Game Mill Publishing? Game Mill? I have no idea. Sinud the Pirate. Sinud the Pirate. Thank you for the $10. On a previous stream, you mentioned seeing the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie at an iPic. If this was in Texas, I worked there at the time. Crazy to think I swept up your popcorn after the show. Hate to disappoint you, but it was up here in Washington. So you did not sweep my popcorn. And I would not, I would not leave popcorn on the floor. I, uh, I was a janitor once, so I have janitor solidarity, man. You, you don't, uh, and well, also I'm not just, you know, not a dick, but also on top of that, I would never. Crush chips. Okay, this is StarCraft 2. Have you guys heard of this one? It's a uh, it's a game that came after StarCraft. Believe it or not, I actually did play StarCraft briefly. Pretty fun. Not really my kind of game, but still pretty fun. Oh, cruising, dude. It's gonna really suck when I get to the discs, but right now... Toffee popcorn sounds good. Ooh, popcorn at all sounds good. Command and Conquer. I got, I only played very, I played very few uh, RTS games. I've got into Age of Empires 2 because of LAN parties. And then from there played a little bit of StarCraft 2. But outside of playing them at LAN parties, I really didn't play it all that much. Boobert G, thank you for subscribing. Dextrose, thank you for the prime sub. And Shamra12, thank you for the 60 months. I love Windows 98. Me too. That's how I got into Civ 5. Yeah, I got into Civ 5 when I, I got into board games. And I was like, man, I wish I could play a board game when I wasn't... I didn't have people to play board games with. This one I really want to play... Casino Empire. I think this is the one people were telling me to get, where you build your own casino. Uh, very interested in that. Hopefully the computer can run it, we'll see. Casino Empire is really fun. That's good to know. Oh, shit. Another pile down. Stuff, stuff, so much stuff. Oh, I guess I could just put it on this top shelf here. Bah, bah, bah. Now the question is how many of these are gonna have barcodes? Jewel cases. <laughs> Missed organization. I do look like it, like chill Jesus. I'm fine with that. I take that as a compliment. 
Uh, I got cool crafts. Does not have a barcode. Got a number of merch. Have I got the mug with all different names they gave that one character? No, this is the... This is the only Mystery Science Theater mug I have. But I do love it. I used to drink from it all the time, but then I got too afraid of dropping and breaking it, so it just sits on a shelf now. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, cool crafts. From Better Home and Gardens. <laughs> Today a Joel day or a Mike day? The, today's a uh, Joel day. Today's a laid back, chill, but upbeat day. I do have Mystery Science Theater on VHS. In fact, if you, well, I have not scanned my Mystery Science Theater collection in. There might be a, there might be a complete dedicated section to my Mystery Science Theater stuff. But at some point, you'll be able to browse it and see what I've got. Do, 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 do. Magic School Bus Explores the Dinosaurs. I have thought about streaming Mist. I think I'll do it at some point. I only say I think because, oh, sorry, I, I shouldn't crunch, I <laughs> shouldn't eat ice while I'm streaming. Um, I just haven't done it yet. When I haven't done something for a long time, I just get used to not doing it. And uh, then I kind of sometimes just don't do it. Submit. I, I, I always crunch ice, man. Bad habit, shouldn't do it, but love that crunch. Republic the Revolution? Can't say I know this one. Looks like a shooty game. Bad for your teeth, but better than smoking. I have a game called uh, Morpheus. I don't know if anybody knows this one. A world where dreams never die. Not sure what that one is. this thing. Piranha? <laughs> Morpheus Dorpheus. How do you guys, how do you guys feel about the latest season of uh, Eric Andre? Those that watched it. Dust. Haven't watched it. Now they're still making it. I think a new one is on the way. Yeah, Hannibal's not in it. I think that's the season where I feel like they, he, do, he does less like public crazy antics and they instead start like hiring people for Craigslist jobs and like pranking those people. It's always someone doing some task like mo moving furniture or something like that. I agree, Hannibal kind of helped out. Yeah. Oh, I love I Think You Should Leave. 
I'm so excited for the new season. Grossology. No barcode. That one might come up in search. Yeah, it's not as fun as the Im impromptu public stuff. He might just be more recognizable now. Yeah. Is it legal to not have a barcode? It probably was on the, the box. It probably came in a bigger box. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, Hannibal's, Hannibal's an essential part of that show. This does sound like Sims music. Dude, what up Sparktimus? Catechumen. Ba, ba, ba. They don't know any of these obscure PC titles. What's the deal? Oh, this, oh my God. The big box Christian game I looked at earlier made by the same people as Catechumen. Someone might've sent me that knowingly. What is this? Light bringer? <laughs> Uh, the playlist is an epidemic sound stock music playlist. I think I just searched Bossa Nova and hit play. No items found. I should just stop trying. Can we play Encarta 95? I do think I have Encarta. We'll see as we go. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I do because we played, uh... what's that game? Uh, it's not Number Maze, it's uh... Mind Maze, that's it, Mind Maze. I remember doing that on a stream at some point, not too long ago. Missed Masterpiece. What is this? Missing? Missing. The entry is also missing. Surely it's got Oregon Trail, right? What are you guys doing? Who's doing a mindless task with me? What are the, uh... What are we doing out there? What you doing, Mo? No Oregon Trail? Are you kidding me? UV oh, unwrapping! Wow. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I tried to. I know I'm gonna have to learn uh, UV unwrapping at some point, but it's so hard. Raid Shadow Legends, a classic or so I've heard. Oh yeah, look at everybody. Everyone's doing something. Skyblock design work. NASCAR. 
Working on a script. Oh, RuneScape, jealous. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm glad we can uh, menial task together. I really have not been wanting to do this, but I know that I need to, so that's why I'm here today. Yeah, chat's coming, chat's going by quick because everyone that's just doing a little task uh, showed up. Just sitting and watching this? I should do something uh, interesting. Puck. Manual entry. Island Peril. Oh, wow. I gotta do it because I want, uh, I want more game donations from people with interesting titles. Bailey's Book House? Oh, come on, you gotta know Bailey's Book House. Sold like a million copies, maybe. I loved Bailey's Book House, man. Do I know how to do car repairs? Absolutely not. I've changed the front light in my car before, and that alone was uh, was pretty difficult for me. It was a way more challenging than I expected it to be. Ah! Start collecting more CD-ROMs. It's pretty fun. I feel like the I feel like it's a less competitive collecting market than like collecting Nintendo or something. Sometimes, other times not so much. Dog of the West, thank you for the nine months and pancake buns. Thank you for the nine months. Really enjoying this chill stream while I work on commissions. Good luck on those commissions. Westwood? Oh no, it's Hasbro. Am I into gardening? Uh, well, I just... Uh, just last year started getting into working in the yard. I never really wor liked working in the yard, but now I own the yard, so I actually enjoy it. I'm really excited to work on my grass, actually. I, re I like reseeded the entire lawn last year and it's, it's held up and it needs, it's got some patchiness I need to fix. Ice 1605, thank you for the five months. CD ROMs. Now CJ, or uh, MJ doesn't go outside. Barbie Ocean Mystery. Oh, Discovery. Yeah, I'm channeling my Hank Hill. I always hated yard work. Uh, but it drove me crazy because my parents always talked about how much they loved it and they would make me do it. I was like, well, I hate it, but now I, I actually kind of like it. Nice to get out there and do something mindless and outside for a bit. Ba, 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 ba. 
Oh, I've got Mavis Beacon teaches typing. I didn't even know that. Mavis Beacon is the it's like the original uh, VTuber or something. Uh, fake. <laughs> the original AI model. Something like that. Trendsetter for sure. I can't believe it doesn't know the Nancy Drew games. It's her interactive, right? translate for me American laser games no <laughs> oh hey look did I stream this did I stream this at some point I remember this being bad <laughs> When does it stop being collecting and become hoarding? Well, I'm collecting for a reason now. I stopped collecting for a while, but now that I have a, a show that works for it, I'm collecting again. I think that clears me from hoarding tendencies, right? Okay, when it's un disorganized? Okay. What do I do with games that don't have their case? They're gonna go in a giant binder or in a... I'm thinking of just getting these these things. But like the tall ones. And maybe just labeling it like parts of the alphabet, you know? I did get a, uh, I got a new binder for Bingo 98, so I have a slimmer one to put all the things in, so I don't have to lug the giant, <laughs> the giant binder out and then throw it on the ground every si single time I change a game. Uh, so looking forward to that. made this? Uh, the Adventure Company, maybe. Thank you, Kid Kicking Robot. I like your tattoo. Oh my god! Okay. Mm. Okay, no. See, I've been I've been acquiring new things, and I'm like so tempted to spoil some of them, but some of them are going into Bingo 98, and I want some surprises. But just know that I've been picking up some things. I guess you're gonna see it pop up in the thing. I guess that doesn't matter. You're gonna be able to search the entire. I can't keep secrets. <laughs> Uh, well, this is the Sabrina the Teenage Witch adventure game. 
I think it's actually got her voice in it. Yeah. Voices of Melissa Joan Hart and Nick Bakay. And it looks like animated or some shit. What a hamburger. So that's one of the things I got. That seemed like a quick check-in to see if we want to play more. Did I ever meet her? No, I can't say that I did ever meet her. I also got this, uh, The Office game. Where everyone has, like, giant heads. I don't totally know. <laughs> uh, but I like The Office, so... The office game sounds like a bad idea. Why? Oh, here's my... Here's my box to Sonic R that was shattered and stepped upon. Not the game. Never seen The Office? Oh, it's so good. I rewatched it recently and thought that it would be, like, dated or boring, but it's actually still... hilarious until it's not. Yeah, it's because of Steve. Once he leaves, it's definitely not as good. Can't watch it, now you're kind of humor. That's fine. I could totally get not wanting to watch like awkward humor. I have not seen the UK version of The Office. I probably should. I bet it's still pretty good. You can't get through episode one. Too uncomfortable. Sierra. The deadpan insanity is too deadpan. I have spooky movies. I love I Think You Should Leave. Very excited for the new season. Probably the show I might be, ooh. It's either Severance or I Think You Should Leave. Two like completely different ends uh, of, of the genre spectrum, but very excited for both. Matty D's 27. Thank you for the 22 months. Crunch Bitso, Crunch Bitso Me. Thank you for the thir uh, the three months. Hey, Ian, hope you're having a good day. I'm at work, but you're making it better. I'm also at work, uh, but you're making it better. So thank you very much. And writing Squiggle, thank you for the 39 months. Parks and Rec. I like Parks and Rec all right. I don't like it as much as The Office. Pajama Sam. Life is rough. Lose your stuff. Parks and Rec feels like the more like, it's like the happier <laughs> version of The Office. Not that The Office isn't, just not as, it's not as uncomfortable as The Office is, I feel like. It's more, uh, it's easier to, to get through. more wholesome yeah yeah more upbeat that's why I don't like it as much <laughs> this is word for word why I don't like it as much as the office but I mean it's still good 
Still good. Yeah, good burger two. What are the odds that What are the odds that Good Burger 2 is gonna be good? When was the last time you watched Good Burger 1? Is is Good Burger 1 good? I have not yeah, I haven't seen it since gotta be before high school when did it come out liked it I believe that it could still be good I don't I don't think I believe a sequel could be good but maybe that's maybe that's not fair How many of these like revival movies have been good? Like comedy. It's like the the we're old we're old now sequels. <laughs> okay, well that was a miserable stack. Cause uh Oh shit! I should have got my wireless microphone ready, but I didn't. So that's the whole story. <laughs> Smooth moves. Oh yeah, Dumb and Dumber. They did a sequel. I hope it's a realistic, depressing look at how Cal is still trapped working in fast food. That would actually be really funny. That could be good. Yeah, Sabrina brought back Netflix. Sabrina was pretty good. Riverdale, awesome. I think that it already had... Sabrina had already had, like, a few iterations, though. It's not really as the same thing as bringing back... Like a Nickelodeon movie. Critical Path. I don't think I ever streamed Critical Path. Okay, I'm only entering it when I find the CD. If I find the Diva Stars box, it doesn't count. I gotta get the CD. I did not get new glasses recently. I should, though. It's time to update glasses, but I don't want to get new frames, so... Yeah, there's a Diva Stars game. We played it on, uh, we played it on Bingo 98. Like the last episode, I think it was? I don't remember. Can you reuse the frames? I don't know. People tell me that I can't. So I don't know. I've never, I've never, this is my first pair of glasses. I've never gotten new frames. So I actually don't know. What a dense par win. I love Luke. Ah! Uncommon to keep the frames, yeah. But yeah, but I can. How much money do I have to throw at someone to let me keep the frames? You guys don't know how many frames I tried on when I first 
I first win. Brutal boyfriend stayed home. <laughs> so I had no one to be like, those look good, those look bad. I was just like, oh, I don't know. And the guy was like, I don't know. I need someone to come and make a decision for me. But now I can't change him. Now I don't. Now, now that I've, the decision has been made, I really don't want them to change even a little bit. Slap hole. Thank you for subscribing. Get some Barbie glasses. That'd be fashionable. I can have more than one pair of glasses? I don't think so. I don't think that I can. I think I can just have the one. I mean, now I have to have glasses. Now, now I can't not have them on. I've adjusted to see. When I see old me without glasses, it's like, where are your... What's, what's the deal with your fucking face, dude? Why aren't you hiding this region of your face? Thief Gold? Would I like Thief Gold? I bought it because I saw gameplay that I thought would look good, but I also don't like to sneak. So I don't know... I don't know if I would like it or not. Yeah, Thief Gold. Do you guys know Bugdom? Look at this guy and his, uh... <laughs> fucking legs. <laughs> uh... You can't really get a good view here. What if I did this? There you go. I feel like I'm very, like, lit, though. I don't want too much light on me. Oh shit, that, well, the fucking program can find Bugdom. It had no problem finding Bugdom too. Mm -hmm. Unreal Tournament. Missed, no barcode. Yeah, I'm scanning the ones that have barcodes and the ones that don't, I'm manually entering. The Chicken Man Cometh, thank you for the 13 months. I had a dream, I got banned for I have a mad deja vu. Did I not read this already? I had a dream I got banned for suggesting the Animorphs should morph into trees and fall on Yerks. Hopefully that won't be the case. Cheer, Moose. Thank you so much, Chicken Man Cometh. Did you say that somewhere else or am I like... Is, am, I, am I in a time warp? No, I don't mean like now. I mean like yesterday or something. Maybe I, maybe I had the dream, yeah? Maybe I also had the same dream. He said it in Discord? Okay. I thought I was just getting the weirdest deja vu, because it wasn't really deja vu. It's just that I was like, I heard this, I've heard this specific sentence before. I was thinking, what if a, what if a, what if, like, a tiny, uh, yerk got into a bigger yerk? Could a, can a yerk mind control another yerk? Or are the, they size not compatible? 
Okay, so this thing has the Sim Coaster bonus disc, but it doesn't have Sim Coaster. You can't, you're not gonna trick me into thinking I'm having deja vu, or actually, please don't. <laughs> I'm gonna believe you and uh, have a crisis. Don't think Yerks have the ear canals for that. That would make sense. That's a good answer. Good answer. A Yerk is a, uh, it's the villain of, uh, the Animorphs books. And I suppose also the comics, but I haven't read them, so maybe they, maybe they changed that. Trees falling on Yerts. <laughs> Yert it up. Yerk it up, dude. Missile command. Do I want to be a Yurk or an Animorph? That's a great question. That's a great question. I have to think about it. I might be one of the, the guys that volun voluntarily let the Yurks control them. You know, you don't really have to think about it. You can just chill out. Let the Yurk, uh, you know, lead the way. Sounds kind of relaxing. Like Severance, you like, you know, Severance only you have to be there for it. Do I want to be a slug or do I want to be a cool dude who changes into animals? Look, if you're a slug, you can go control powerful people. If you're a dude who can turn into animals, you might get stuck as one. Uh, or attacked by aliens, man. I'm just saying, there's upsides. You'd have to go touch all these animals to get morphing power. Like, you'd have to get close to so many cool animals. Sounds like a lot of work. Sea cucumber animorph. They might do it. Who knows? If you touch an animal but it has rabies, do you also get the rabies? I don't think so, because rabies isn't in your DNA. They've actually, they've addressed this, kind of. Yeah, they addressed it. This music makes me feel like I'm like lost in an Ikea or something. If you read the morphs, be sure to join the Animorphs book club in the Brutal Moose subsi subscriber discord. We discuss a book every week. Because uh, we got nothing better to do, I guess. Catch up on book two. I think book two was pretty good. No, book two sucked. Oh yeah, no spoilers past uh, part five. Lupin is a, uh, she will ban. And can spot a spoiler. Book two was not my favorite. Book two, you could skip book two. Did I have strict teachers at school? I guess so. I don't think anyone really tried anything at my school. I went to a private school. It was very uh, uneventful. I would I would describe it as barely anyone morphing into animals at my school. Ba 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 ba.
How hard is it to get copies of the books? Kind of, kind of hard. Some of them are, um, some of them are kind of expensive. You can find them online, I think. I've been listening to some of the audiobooks because I'm a slow reader and a book a week is a lot for me, even if it's an Animorphs book. So sometimes I listen to the audiobooks. Jumpstart artist, anybody? Best jump start game. Hmm. There are an Animorph. There are there are one Animorph PC game, and I have them. Did not end up beating Central High, but I wouldn't be shocked if that ends up as a reward card on Bingo ninety eight one of these seasons. I don't know about next season, but... Yeah, I'm excited for the Awful Animorphs game too, because last time I, I streamed it, I don't even know if that stream is archived, but uh, I remember not really being into it, because I, I uh, you know, I hadn't read the books in forever. But now I'm invested. What happened to Broderbund? Did Broderbund get bought by Learning Company? Is that what happened? Do I have some of the Clue Finder? I have like one of the Clue... Oh, hey! I have one of the Clue Finder games. Here's the Animorphs game right here. No, the secret. Let me read the back. Join the Animorphs! Sure, you might look like an ordinary kid, but you're not. You're an Animorph. For the first time ever, the power of the Animorphs is at your fingertips. The power to become any animal you touch. Morph into a mighty gorilla or a prowling jungle tiger. Transform into a lowly cockroach or a high-flying owl. There are 16 morphs in all. Each animal's form, strength, ability is yours, but only for two hours. And with Visor 3 and Yurk minions all on your tail, you're going to need all the time you can get as you plunge into an all new, totally unique Animorphs adventure. He's gonna make all the money now. He's gonna make all the money now. And you'll also make all the money now. Uh, explore the dangers and thrills of the Animorphs universe. As you take a stand against the latest Yurk threat, what are you waiting for? We're talking a total, two hours total, two hours total. So you have to, you can, you can break the two hours and then morph back. I'm uh, pretty sure. The Chicken Man cometh. Thank you for the $20. Apologies for the deja vu. I can barely remember what I had for breakfast some days. Oh, no, it's fine. I can barely remember anything, too. That's why I was like, have I heard this before? <laughs> Thanks so much, man. And Kayera, thank you so much for the six months. Where did my bossa nova go? Oh, that was the only thing that came up. Oh, I searched summer bossa nova. What about just regular bossa nova? I do have a Goosebumps game. We've streamed a Goosebumps game. Goosebumps. Yum, yum. Uh, Escape from Horror Town or something like that? I do recognize screen names. Not everybody's screen names, but people that are around a lot, yeah. Um, Horror Land. Escape from Ian's basement. No, I want to stay here forever, man. I hate when I have to leave. <laughs> uh, I would really love to play this game at some point. The magic 
Death Virtual Murder 2, because it's got this dead lady around a bunch of like cult shit. <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. Reader Rabbit 1. Make sure there are no boobies. There can be, though. It has to be in art, right? That's what that's what Patty told me. He said, boobies are welcome in stream as long as the context is art. Yeah, art boobies only. We call them yabos here, okay? Art yabos only. Zoingas. I got Yabos from, uh, Yabos is from Hocus Pocus. His sister's like, uh, he likes your Yabos. <laughs> No art, no art penis. The penis is not artistic. <laughs> so it's just banned outright. <laughs> I think I already added ribbon, right? <laughs> okay, I got ribbon. Explorer Barbie. I think we played that one. Did I beat Explorer Barbie or did I just stop? They just stop. <laughs> I think I maybe just stopped. Oh, uh, Chex Quest would be awesome. I do not have Chex Quest. It was too hard. That sounds like me, you know. I'm known to just quit sometimes. catch that dono message sorry about that my jubbas thank you for the two dollars hey ian i've recently been watching your chillscape vods which made me start playing Osers. i'm having a lot of fun i was wondering you know when the next chillscape stream will be hoping to catch one live soon i do not know <laughs> drop my mic again i'm not sure it'll come back I played a lot of RuneScape recently and I'm kind of on like a downswing. I thought this was the Titanic game we're looking for, but this is Titanic Dare to Discover. But I'm sure I'll pick it up again. They just had a, they just launched a poll, I think, for the new RuneScape skill. Maybe I'll check out the new skill when it eventually comes out. Yeah, maybe I should stream this. It's by Expert Software. Sure, it's great. This is a this is the weirdest. Look at this fucking CD-ROM case. 
Anyone ever have a plastic CD-ROM case like this? It looks nasty. It looks nasty. Uh, well, no game. But I do have the Furby manual. Oh wait, this is for Macintosh. Ugh. Can't play those yet. Maybe one day. It came in a cereal box? I'd really love one of those iMacs, the color ones. Don't remember which iMac it is. Barbie Storymaker. I don't have room for it though, man. I don't even have room for a monitor for the Windows 98 one. What up, Peachy? I am logging these in a service called Libib. L-I-B-I-B. -I -B. If you go libib.com slash u slash brutal moose, I think you can check out my list as I add to it. G3 is the color one. Okay, then I want a G3. Oh shit, it found Barbie's story maker. I don't think I'd ever use it. I mean, it'd be awesome to play like Mist on something like that. Oh. But I just don't think it would get enough use to justify. Bum, 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 bum. Scarab of Ra. I don't know that one. Father used to take the G3 iMac power cord to work so you couldn't use it. Didn't know I would just walk to Radio Shack and buy your own cord. I don't think my parents ever did that. That's creative. They just said don't get on the computer and I wouldn't because I was a... Uh, was a rule follower, man. A square. Wheel of Fortune. Which year is this? There's gonna be a bunch of Wheel of Fortunes. Wheel of Fortune CD ROM. Can we have a food clap? Hold on, do I have that? Uh... Let me know if you hear this. Yeah? Okay, well then I can do a food clap. What other sound? I can put uh, eight things on this thing. I've got I've got that and I've got plop. So, you know, what are what are other I don't use I don't use soundboards often, but having the option, you never know when it might come along. It's not a it's not a stream deck, though I do have a stream deck. This is my, uh, this is my Rodecaster Pro. It's a mixer. Oh my god, Oh My Yes would actually be pretty great. Oh My Yes would be pretty great. Oh My Yes. I think that should be a, a donation or a subscription alert. Crashing or breaking. Oh, I've got that, uh, I've got a spill sound effect that I use a lot of my, in my videos I could put in here. Chessmaster 5500. Slide whistle? I have, uh, I have laughter on here. This is, came with the thing, so I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> I 
I also can't hear it, so I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't hear it at all. It's canned. What about this one? That one's good. See, how am I going to tell the difference between these? <laughs> I'm going to have to listen to them. I can, I can change them out with other things. Uh... Does this just sound like ba ba Yeah. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, I'm just gonna have to add it. I don't know how to... Hi, Tyler. I sure am cataloging. What year did this come out? Oh, shit. Am I allowed to do ISBN on here or just UPC? ISBN is possible? Let me try. Let me just try ISBN. doesn't like it. It just doesn't like it. It sounds like Animal Crossing music. I'm just gonna put the year, I guess. I think it's 1993. Toasty in here. I need to close my blinds. Ah! See a clue nest. Not sure when the next bingo stream is. I'm still working on everything. Um, I'm acquiring games and I'm also retooling the show. Oh, brutal BF loved the. The resin. It's it's currently you can't see it, but it's I guess you can see it. He's chilling over there right now. But uh, yeah, it's got to go up somewhere. No game playing today, Bisby Dream. I'm just chilling and cataloging. And just hanging out. Low key stream today. Pingtronks, thank you for subscribing. Oh, yeah, it has been 90 minutes. I did not realize that either. I'm glad I'm doing this because I'm actually very focused. Whereas if I did this alone, I would probably, uh, this is fucking bootlegged. This is a printed paper and printed. This is a fucking bootleg. I can't use that. Rejected. Yeah, I'm going to call the cops. St 
Studio. Who did this? Microsoft Home. Yeah, it's gonna get tossed. I can't, uh, it's too, like, it's not even a good bootleg. If it was a good bootleg where it was like, ah, eh, you know, I can't really tell, but it's very much. This is what we uh, played on Bingo, right? It was Operation Neptune, a, a uh, learning center game, learning, uh, what kind of keyboard am I using? I'm using this Logitech. I got it at Costco. It's a Logitech, just like piece of shit. I, I got it to replace my mechanical one because I was tired of all the clicking. So it, this one's nice and smushy. So I like that. Hey, La Rosebuds, thanks for converting that Prime Gaming sub to a tier one sub. Yeah, nice and gummy. How is Costco? Costco's pretty good. It's good if you gotta buy a lot of things. If you have to buy individual things, not as great. I got tired of the clicking, yeah I did. You can also hear it, like if I record or something, you can hear the ch -ch -ch Pissed. Nah. Uh, I liked it for a while, but it... I got tired of it. Costco shopping video? Maybe, I did the food video. I guess I could just do like a general shopping sometime. Try the samples. I could try out being one of the, uh, the YouTubers that like provides commentary while filming and I could be like, hey everybody, what's up? I'm here at the Costco tasting, I'm gonna rank all the samples. Whoa, this sample is delicious. Interview the employees. How do you like working here at this Costco? Are there any cool Costco tips or hacks you could teach me? I'm sure they'd love that. Epic <laughs> life hack. Jelly Vision. What, do, what does the hot dog water look like? Hey, could I get a tour of the food back here? Look at these rotisserie chickens. Wow, if I was on this rotisserie, it would be real hot, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. What does the hot dog water taste like? I'm back here sampling the hot dog water at my local Costco. <laughs> Spreadsheet view, see, I'm not even like, uh, yeah, I could, I could do that. It's really not interesting, but I could, I could do that.
How's that? Already entered that one. Sims 2. I'm not putting a credit card info. This is the special DVD edition? What the fuck does that even mean? This is for Jaguar CD, wrong console. I don't have missed for all platforms. I did get that at, at Portland Retro back when I was uh, trying to get like every copy of Mist available because I was just a uh, nutcase. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> Buying a lot of copies of Mist. board game. I don't think I do. Ooh. Goro! Thank you for the five dollars and change. Love your streams. Haven't caught one since Shinmu. Have you ever played Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator? I feel like you would like the aesthetics and gambling in the game with the organ stocks. I've never heard of that. No. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to look it up right now. And uh, I'll look into it. Thank you very much. It's a neat game. Never heard of it before. Okay, let's see if they got Clue in here. You buy and sell organs on the space black market. I mean, that seems pretty great. Ba, 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 ba. Jeopardy. Here it is. The one, the only, the Central High. Destiny, destiny. Ba, ba, ba. Barbie, Barbie Detective Barbie is, is what it says. <laughs> You guys like Arby's? I haven't had Arby's in forever. Not usually a fan, but actually a, uh, just like a plain old roast beef sandwich. Doesn't sound too bad. Kid picks Lux. How 
Happened once a year. We used to go there fairly regularly. There was a, a regular day that they had, uh, you could get cheap sandwiches and we would go there. And once I started not liking them, I would just get three giant orders of curly fries and that would be my dinner. <laughs> Two sandwiches for five? That's not bad. If it was like the small sandwiches with not too much meat, I just don't want too much meat. Like I want, I want to enjoy that bread, you know? Bread is really the meat of a sandwich when you uh, really think about it. Game Empire series? Last time you went you got food poisoning? You know, I actually can... I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. That's why I don't go to Dairy Queen anymore. I went and I got... I got a cold sandwich at... Dairy Queen. It's like a club sandwich or something? I don't remember what it was. It was food poisoning. Didn't know they made cold sandwiches? Well, I can't recommend them. Could really go for some fast food. How do they know Vice City Manhattan? How does that make it in? Okay, it's getting some of the Nancy Drews now. Oh, Jimmy John's. Man, I haven't had a Jimmy John's in so long. I love Jimmy John's. Really, Jimmy's my John. If you know what I mean. Oh, these boxes are going to collapse if I stack too much. Okay, these guys should have barcodes on them. Uh, Jersey Mike's. I'm not a Jersey Mike guy. Jimmy's got the good bread. Ah! Burger 25. I've never heard of Burger 25. Oh, you're eating canes? Jealous. Jealous. I haven't had canes in forever. I have not eaten at Firehouse Subs. So I have no opinion. But I'm sure they're good. Or maybe they're bad. I don't really know. So I guess I'm not sure. You coming in or no? Yeah? Did you get anything in there? <laughs> She's trying to lure me out. She's trying to lure me out. She doesn't want to come in right now. <laughs> There's your little MJ moment. She might be back. She usually tries to lure me out a couple of times and then gives up and comes in here and goes to sleep. I'm 
Brahms. Oh my God, I have not had Brahms in so long. Heard you talking about deli meat and got interested. Favorite Brahms? I have not been to Brahms in so long. Um, I used to get the, the cappuccino chocolate chunk ice cream. That was my favorite ice cream they had. And then burgers is probably a standard burger. Uh, people, people didn't eat their burgers typically, but man, they're super good. Is Brum still a thing? I would assume so in some areas. It's not an area up here, or not a thing up here. Brum's is like an ice cream burger shop. Bacon cheeseburger. I could see myself getting that. That might have been what I had. Doesn't like this ISBN. Add that. Favorite Texas barbecue? I think we went to uh, Dickie's barbecue is I think where we got ours. Loved Dickie's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's who always like catered events. And uh, that's where we went, the Roberta Williams. Hutchins? I don't know Hutchins. I think this lady's singing about cataloging computer games, if, I, uh, if I'm hearing correctly. Hutchins is incredible. What about uh, Chili's Baby Back Ribs? Those, I mean, they got a song. I don't know if they were good. Do they still do this? I have no idea. I don't even know what makes it a baby back rib. Hey, see, I got some Encarta stuff. Applebee's. I used to love Applebee's. Ribs from babies. <laughs> you have to get them from the baby's back or they don't, they don't count. Well, I got a good little pile going. I'm about, I'm nearing halfway on the shelf. I'm not saying that I'm, uh, ooh. Oh man, I need to get this frame so bad. You guys wanna see this thing I got? I'm sure I've showed this off before. These are, I got these from a, a Mist Kickstarter. They're like original ribbon sketches from when they were working on Riven. It's got like a certificate uh, of authenticity and everything. I really need it framed. So it's just like chilling out for now. So cool. I don't remember how much I spent on it, but I know it's like the most expensive 
piece of memorabilia I bought, I'm pretty sure. Go back in there. Go back in there nice and... Riven Remake should be good. I've heard good things about the Mist one, actually, even though I have not uh, seen it myself. Fin Fin! Ah! I heard of Brusters. Best ice cream they have. Bring your own banana days. For half price banana splits, that's actually a pretty good promotion. Bring back Fin Fin. I, I was a little disappointed in Fin Fin. I didn't realize that I was only gonna be able to record a few phrases. I thought I was gonna be able to just like talk to Fin Fin like he's just like a bud, you know? I didn't realize I would just record a thing and then spam the button over and over again. <laughs> over and over again. Do not bring back Fin Fin. You know, Fin Fin would be good for Bingo 98, actually. A good 15 minutes of Fin Fin. What is my favorite anime? I don't know. Dot Hack Sign. I like Yu-Gi-Oh, I like Yu Yu Hakusho, I like... I think Death Note's up there now. Man, I really like Death Note. I've seen it enough times to be a favorite. This is our next Nancy, I think, if uh, it ever happens. I did not start Cowboy Bebop over, but I should. I actually totally forgot. Just started Death Note? Oh, Death Note's really good. I'm gonna finish the Nancy Drew games when I'm 80. That'd be awesome. Imagine if it took me that long. And finally, it happened when I'm 80 years old. Half of us will be dead. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Emotionally, cool with it. <laughs> I have no idea what this... Not seen Stein's Gate. Haven't seen My Hero either. I saw a little bit of. I think Demon Slayer is the most recent anime that I've seen some of. Uh, but I, I didn't like. There was someone on there I could not take. This guy doesn't recognize Fin Fin. Uh, the, uh, it was like the blonde whiny guy, the blonde crying guy, I think was why I tapped out of, uh, Demon Slayer. You know, I saw it while, um, at a mall day, I saw that they recently, the original artist and author of uh, Death Note, they teamed up to do some like Death Note stories and a little manga. I should have bought it. I don't know when they did that, but it, it seems like not quite a continuation, but just like a additional 
Death Note stories? Need to get it. Death Note on Netflix? I did love the Death Note movie. You have to have watched the anime to watch it, but it is a... Uh, it's a treat. Okay, clearing this off. Oh my god, Cyber Swine? Is Cyber Swine worth replaying? I don't really remember it. Mexican or Chinese food? I don't know, both great cuisines, man. I can't pick between Mexican and Chinese food. Cyberswine had multiple endings. Multipath movies. Oh yeah, your de next decision takes the story on a new path. Cyberswine, man. Maybe I'll uh, maybe we'll try that again at some point. Wasn't it anti-vax? I honestly don't remember. I remember that he was a robot pig and there were explosions for sure. <laughs> That's all I know. The vaccine makes you weak. I don't remember that at all. We'll have to try it again. Could very well be what was going on. <laughs> I just don't remember. Bird Watcher? Have we played Bird Watcher? That seems like a Bingo 98 game. Did we, did we play this? I need, I need help from uh, someone who's been watching the streams for like a really long time. Did we, did I stream this? Daedalus Encounter? This is by the same people who made some other. Like Psychic Detective or something. Something that I played. It was a long time ago. Okay. You want Sonya remembers. I think it was before... I think it was before... Um... I was archiving my streams. You sent that? If it was before I archived streams, I don't know that I had... I didn't have a P.O. box at the time. If it was something I streamed and was not archived, it was something I got at like Portland or something like that. Did this get added? I didn't even pay attention. No. When did you send the huge box? Like, what year are we talking? I have vague memories of streaming this. I think when I was in the tiny apartment. Like when I was in the one with the wood panel wall. I'm gonna check to see if I have any evidence of when I got this thing. Okay, I ordered the Daedalus encounter in 2016. I don't think I was archiving my streams by 2016. Or at 2016. 
Okay, I gotta put, I gotta log it though. I gotta stop getting distracted and log it so I can move on. Oh, you sent in a smaller version? I think that'd be great, uh, Kerma. The um, doing Bingo 98 with other stuff. I mean, like Bingo 64 is the clear because the number, the name just works so well. Thing is, I gotta get 70. I gotta make sure my N64 collection is 75 games total at least, and it is not. I thought about bringing Mario Party back. I have thought about bringing Mario pa uh, Party back before. I haven't done it yet, but that is something I've thought about even recently. Bum, 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 bum. I still have all the old um, Mario Friday Night Mario Party assets. That stuff has not gone anywhere. I used to be an- I did used to be an absolute beast at Mario Party. It's a shame, because I'm not anymore. I- ah! I lose all the time, but... Man, so many memories of just, uh... Ruthless Mario Party games. Oh wait, no, this is for Mac. Cassidy and... Green? Out of practice. So you're saying if I bring back Friday Night Mario Party, I will get good again? It's because I'm not playing enough? Techno Toast! Thanks for the 35 months! It's been a long time since I've been able to catch you live. Nice to see you again, Mr. Moose. Hope the cataloging is going well. Good to see you, Techno Toast. I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Sonic and the Secret Rings has a Mario Party ripoff? Like, in the game, there's a party game in uh, Secret Rings? I never played Secret Rings. One of these days I'll pick up my Sonic 3D playthroughs. I just, it's, I can't get through Sonic Heroes, man. I played it the one time and now I don't want to play it again. <laughs> Relaxing from work, drawing, and lurking. Well, enjoy it, Techno Toast. Good to see you again. Secret Rings is bad, but a guilty pleasure. Interesting. CSI. We tried these, I think. I don't think they worked. But I think it was on the Vectra, so maybe they would work on this computer. But I skipped to six, Sonic 06. Sonic 06 is the game I want to most play. Honestly, I would love to. Better than advertised? I believe that. I'm assuming it's still not, like, great, <laughs> but... Sonic Heroes only has the one story beat that matters that ties to Shadow Hedgehog but can be skipped. I wanted to play him through just to play him, just because I'm a fan of Sonic. Um, but, you know, as, as he makes more and more games, it's turning more and more like I'm a fan of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And the other ones, like, you know, I like the idea of them, but not quite, uh, playing them. I did not, I did not beat the latest Sonic game, no. I didn't even get through the second level. I got to the, I got to the sand stage and was like, uh, 
screw this. <laughs> I've heard it's good. I've, I've heard it's not bad. Like I, I, I heard the story is actually, you know, from a Sonic point of view, kind of worth it. But it just wasn't that fun. I want, I don't want the overworld Sonic. I want the, I want the stages that I play in little bite-sized pieces. Busy Town? This is one I remember people wanted me to play. Would that be a good bingo game? It looks like a game for preschoolers. Oh, it's books? Interesting. I don't know who made this. Uh, Novo Trade? Oh no, Paramount Interactive. This one could be good. I remember doing a tiny review. Any of those games I did a teeny tiny review of would probably be good for bingo. Oh wait, this stick. Philips make this? Is it really? It's Philips. I guess they have the CDI. Anyone know if these games were on the CDI? Mystic Midway? Okay, got some humongous entertainment big box. Please detect them. Are you kidding me? You don't know Spy Fox 2? Have I played Spy Fox? I have. I've played, I've done, did I do a video on Spy Fox? I think I did do a video on Spy Fox. I played a little bit of one recently. Uh, Spy Fox 1, why do I not know? But they're, of all the Humongous Entertainment series, it's definitely the one that I'm the least familiar with. Outside of the Blue's Clues games. I, I don't think I played the Blue's Clues games at all. Yeah, they don't, they don't know any of these. They don't know Freddy Fish. I'm using a website called Libib. Oh, thank you, Tyler. Did you tell me about this? I think Tyler might have told me about this. Someone told me about this. I didn't know about this. Someone told me. Would I dress up for a, as a fox for those playthroughs? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, can't answer that. I guess I would, if I had the motivation for it. How much money am I making on these uh, Spy Fox streams? Five dollars. <laughs> That sounds like a, that sounds like a, um, a Bingo 98 card. 
like a, a special prize. Spy Fox wears a tuxedo. Yeah, it would, it would have to be a cos fox costume tuxedo over it. And I would need like air conditioning or something because that just sounds a little miserable. Come on, dude. It's right in front of your face. What's up, Anna? I am the IRL streamer. I'm known for my IRL streams and being in real life. We're definitely still doing Fatty Bear for birthday, for sure. For sure. Okay, I need a new, new stack. This is going to be such a pain. Ba, ba, ba. Todd, what do you want me to stream for your birthday? I'll stream for Todd's birthday. Indie games. I could react to Korean game shows. I got Math Blaster 1 on floppy disk. Oh, well, let me do... the Rusty Lake games. I will not stream. I don't want to stream myself eating. <laughs> that does not seem like fun. I don't understand how people stream or watch that. Easy money. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If you're making bank on it, I get it. The loneliness. Well, that's what I'll do for Todd's birthday. I'll just stream myself eating a birthday cake. How's that sound? Yeah, the whole cake. I won't say a word. As long as it involves bingo. Okay, I'll also play bingo. I'll divide the cake up into 70, 75 sections, draw a number, and eat that section. I'll eat it in bingo order. <laughs> Sounds miserable. It sure does. Ba, ba, ba. 
Sim Isle any good? Anybody play Sim Isle? Where did my phone go? I was using that. Oh. Thank you for making the old collection catalog template in Google Sheets. I still use it this to this day for my 250 plus 360 games. You're welcome, BD Spooky. I completely forgot that I even did that. I'm not even using the own my own system that I devised. I bailed on it, but I'm glad that it's working for you. Oh, this would be this would be done if I had stuck with it. If I had stuck with my system. Monday Meets, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, making a fatty bear cake would be pretty great. Oh, I already logged that. Would be pretty great. I don't know if I'll actually do it, but it is a fun idea. Yes, the system that made me put all the stickers on the barcodes, yep. Need Disney on the Windows 98? I sure do have Disney. I got a lot of those, uh, oh, what do they call them? Creative, uh, what do they call them? Adventure packs? Is that what they're called? What were those things called? There's the Toy Story, we played the Toy Story one. I don't remember. But I do have some Disney stuff. Ah! This is gonna be a bad idea. But I wanna get, I wanna get a lot And it's not so I can spare my horrible knees. Definitely not because I'm trying to take care of my knee. Activity center, that's what it was. Yeah, I've got some activity centers. That's what it, that's, that's what it was. I haven't been watching the XSL, XFL as much as I wanted to. I find it hard to figure out when the games are happening and then when, when I find out they're happening, they're either over or almost over. Boink. Barbie horse adventure. Someone was, I think chat was talking to me about Barbie horse adventure recently saying really good things about the horses. Played the shit out of this game, dude. Jedi Outcast. Garden Senpai 49, thank you for subscribing. By the way, I'm gonna put a link to this list of all my games. I'll, I'll put a link to it in the bottom of my Twitch, but also, this is modern. Um, I guess I'll put it in here anyway. I'll put it on the PO box page as well. I played more of Academy. I loved Jedi Outcast, but I did play more of Academy. I did not get the reference. <laughs> you tried abduction but got confused. I remember liking abduction. Abduction is the, uh, it's by the guys who made Mist. one of their, it's kind of like their comeback game they made a handful of years ago or a lot of years ago at this point. I remember it being really fun. I liked that they included FMV, but I do remember the number system being really difficult. I didn't like, they made an alien number system and I couldn't, my brain could not wrap around it. 
MJ is staying out of trouble. She came in and said hello for a second and then left. What does my tattoo signify? It's uh, the it's the uh, the word and. <laughs> I guess. It signifies, uh, it signifies, how would I, uh, uh, it signifies that, uh, my sibling and I like each other? Something like that? Ba, 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 ba. Yes, my bond with my sister. It's Ian and chat. Dude, Call of Duty 2, it doesn't know Call of Duty 2. Any advice for someone trying to pick an idea for a tattoo? I really don't. I only got it because it was uh, just a, a crazy moment in life, you know? It was just kind of like everything lined up. But I've wanted a tattoo since and I haven't gotten one because I've been too indecisive. Tattoo of Garfield, there you go. Or just get a tattoo of Garfield and you would have no regrets. I always thought, I always thought I would get a, uh, a Miss tattoo. But I, I haven't so far. Maybe if I play through the games again and I still really love them. Ingenuity Works, what a name. I still haven't played the movies. What are the odds that that works on Windows, my Windows 98 computer? Is that more, that seems like an XP uh, adventure. XP. Hot Dog King. Who made this thing? Sorry, it was a very weird sneeze. I was trying to not sneeze into the microphone. I guess doing that though just kind of pushes it. Yeah. I have the mute button right here. I should have just hit the, the mute button next time. Thank you, everybody. I can't really read, I can't really read who made this, but there's only one hot dog king, so it should be fine. Oh my god! Was this from my, uh, Ian and friend with Pushing Up Roses, where we made, we made up Pajama Sam sequels? <laughs> it's still on here. <laughs> 
Here lies Sam, Pajama Sam 5 in, you, when you have no friends, it's a sad, lonely end. Well, I'm just gonna leave that there. What's up, Pepsi Kong? Glad you're enjoying the videos. I'm working on a new one. I'm working on a new chip video, actually. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it'll be a good one. This is gonna be a problem because the door uh, is very much right where all that shit is. This is going to be the last of the big boxes, I think. Sorry if that doesn't sound good, but it is what it is. It's going to be a bad idea, but here we go. How am I going to how am I going to stand up? Oh! Ah! I caught it. Don't worry, I caught it. I dropped it. I dropped that one too. I didn't want to go back down there, man. It's so far. <laughs> nice job using your legs and not your lower back. I'm trying. Oh. Okay. This I bought, I was so excited. I thought I would just be able to open like a folder with a bunch of sound effects, but it's a program. You gotta boot up a program and listen to the sound effects individually. It's, it's ridiculous. I do not have a streaming schedule currently. Um, maybe at some point right now, I'm just trying to stream whenever. I would say when I do stream, it's normally what, around noon to one PST? But outside of that, I really do not have a schedule. Need some new video game and VHS hunting videos. I haven't done a thrift video in quite some time. Uh, this is dope. Time Writers in American History. What's the name of the video that I streamed? Toy Story Activity Center. It was a Bingo 98 stream for sure. I want to say it was either the last or the next to last Bingo 98 stream of season one. Which are in a playlist. I'd love to make, uh, do another treasure hunt video. I filmed one within the last year, but it, uh, didn't look right. So I did not continue with it, but I definitely would and, and most likely will make another one at some point. Widers, time widers.
ba, 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 ba. Motivation for moving from Fort Worth. This just wasn't my place. At the end of the day, just wasn't where I needed to be. Oh shit, you're right, Loop, and I have not. I will post the VOD from uh, the fan mail stream after I'm done with this one. This thing doesn't know full strength strongman competition. Oh shit, it does know full strength strongman competition. Uh, I think I already put extremely goofy skateboarding in here. Yeah, you know, Texas, Fort Worth is very hot. Weather was definitely not my favorite. I also just like needed to go, you know? Some people just need to, you know, I gotta go. <laughs> Take two. One day we'll play Ripper, probably, maybe. We'll see. Do a treasure hunt at the Goodwill Outlet in Everett Muckleteo. I'll, I'll look for it. Everyone, learn. I know Texas is uh, Texas is growing right now. People are moving to Texas. Lots of land. Lots of space. Lots of uh, heat, heat and sun and tornadoes. <laughs> ah! Lots of good fried chicken. Lots of good Tex-Mex. Oh yeah, a lot of Texas yum yum. Moving to Texas for the booming tornado industry. Now, I uh, definitely don't hate Texas. And it's it wasn't out of, uh, well, I think I just hated living there. There are definitely things I miss about it. You can like a place, but not like living there, you know? Yeah, I miss Brahms. Good margaritas. I didn't have many margaritas in my time down south. You want to go to a Bucky's? I didn't live near Bucky's. Like I went to Bucky's on like road trips or something. Oh fucking! I hate when I hit delete item. Why would I scan an item and then immediately want to delete it? I don't understand why it even gives me that option. Miss Whataburger? I don't. I don't really miss Whataburger. I've hit the point in my life where I'm ready to admit that Whataburger is uh, overhyped. I mean, it's good, but uh, you know. I used to hold out for it because of the uh, the breakfast. I loved the bre Whataburger breakfast, but I had uh, I had Jack in the Box breakfast sausage biscuit semi recently and uh it was like just the same so i <laughs> well don't miss it so much anymore i am not vegan or vegetarian now opposite actually i'm like not satisfied if a meal doesn't have a meat portion it's got to have a meat to it or i'm like hmm excuse me this is another Richard Scary. 
The busy town guy. Oh, it's a busy town game. Yeah, all meat diet. Now I like my veggies. It's just I like my veggies as a side to meat. Novo trade. I got so blue. Yeah, you know, I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'm blue. What's the, is that a problem? I've never eaten moose, no. Can't say that I would. I mean, I would, but I'm not like looking to. What the fuck, how do I label this shit? 1997, I guess that's how I label it. It's like an encyclopedia of some sort. Ooh, pajama stam, pajama stams, one stop fun shop. Does it know it? I don't know. You guys see me? Try to stay away from red meat. Man, I love red meat. I've been drinking less milk though because it makes my stomach upset. And man, I love milk, but I've been, you know, you have a cookie for dessert and normally you chug that milk. Uh, but right now I'm like, uh, maybe I'll, I'll just skip it this time. <laughs> it makes me sad. Oh, because man, I love milk. I'm a milky boy. Lactate doesn't do shit, dude. Lactate is a scam. Weren't you the milk guy? I still am in spirit. I still am. It's just that it horribly destroys my stomach when I drink it. I don't know what A2 milk is, but if it's not whole milk, it's not milk. That's everybody agreeing with my opinion. Okay, got any more boxes? Uh, that's a box. Skim milk. I actually grew up drinking skim milk and now it's just like I can't. I don't even want to think about it. How's the no label VHS series going? I have not. Oh, this is Mystery Science Theater. What is this doing? I haven't worked on a mystery tapes in a little bit, uh, but I will. I got too many, uh, what did I just remove from my collection? Oh my God, what was the last thing I scanned? Uh, oh, it was Pajama Sam, Pajama Stam. Dude, if Lib, Lib, Lib is watching, you gotta remove that button. That's the worst fucking button I've ever seen. The software I'm using is Libib, L-I-B-I-B. -I -B. The L-I-B-I-B. -I -B. Yes, that's the site for me. The button is delete. When you scan a, an item to catalog it, it gives you the option to delete it. 
and it's right next to the scan another item button, so I keep accidentally uh, poking it. Has it been suggested to have big ticket bingo boards that take multiple bingos to win? Could be interesting. Indie Horror is not going to be on Bingo 2 or Bingo Season 2 though. Absolutely not. Will not be there. Do not expect to see it there because it will not be there. I will play something scary again at some point, but it's not going to become like uh, something I'm doing all the time. Any idea what I have planned for season two? Um, a little bit, yeah. But I can't say. <laughs> People who drink milk straight, do you eat butter by the spoonful too? Peanut butter, sure. What is Danger Squad? Danger Squad was a, a group uh, that I ran years ago that was like a video game challenge league. It's no longer a thing, but I still have the group, so... I am I am now Danger Squad. I'm the only streamer in there. <laughs> I want to start up a new... I do think I want to start up a new, like, stream team. I just don't know what that would look like or who would be included, so... We'll see. It's pretty low on my priority list. You definitely covered your eyes and screamed a lot during the horror games. Good! I'm glad it wasn't just me. Revive Hidden Block! Oh man. We could do a revival. Don't know why, but we could. Jelly on a cream cheese bagel. I don't like jelly. I don't like, I don't like like the slimy fruit thing. I like butter. You put a nice butter. Butter is like nature's jelly. Or like cow's <laughs> jelly. I can't believe what I just heard. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. Butter is nature's jelly. What the fuck is this? Starshine Legacy. No, I don't like I don't like uh, jams or jellies. I'm trying to think of the last time I willingly put a jam or jelly on something. I have wild opinions. These are these are just normal, this is just how it is. It's not even opinion, it's just the truth. It's not my fault chat can't handle cow jelly, okay? I do not make shirts. I like Nutella, Nutella's good. It's like chocolate jelly, even though it's hazelnut. It's still kind of like chocolate jelly. Pass the cow jelly. 
I'm telling you, you guys are going to add this to your vocabulary and people are going to say, genius, why didn't I ever think of this? Fuck yes, I'd eat deep fried butter. I've always wanted to try it. I've never had it because I don't know, you'd have to be at the Texas State Fair to have it. And I just have not found myself there in a while. Okay, so that's all of my big boxes, which just leaves the, oh wait, no, nope. This is goofy ass music. Deep fried chips ahoy. Have not had those. I have had deep fried Oreos. The Curse of Monkey Island. Here's another fucking game. No wonder I thought I had Titanic a Adventure out of time. I've got Titanic Challenge of Discovery. Also not the right Titanic game. Did someone just say deep fried pizza? That sounds awesome. I have to change the song. I can't listen to this song. No. Okay, that one's fine. Wait, Panasonic made this game? What the fuck does... Okay. This is music that is not a game. I didn't uh, always love Spam, but when I... Someone introduced me to Spam Masubi, and oh my god. I get it. I get it. Moon Tycoon. Do I build my own moon? I can't, I cannot even tell who made this. Oh, Anarchy Enterprises. Is that how you spell? That's not how you spell enterprises. <laughs> there you go. Pound, pan fried in butter and brown sugar. I have not had a masubi like that. Mmm. I don't know that it's going to recognize any of these. Police chase, daring high speed police pursuit. Oh, yep, it sure did. Zork Nemesis. I played a little bit of uh, Planet Coaster when it first came out. It was good. Spam Masubi is like, it's Spam on rice, uh, wrapped with that seaweed, uh, thin, the, th the thin seaweed paper, right? What else is in there, is that it? Rice, seaweed, spam? Fried, fried spam? L 
library is gonna be very happy with my contributions. I'm not adding like cover images or anything though. I'm, I'm just like, just the, just the deep, okay, I don't even know, I don't know who made this shit. Hugh Forrest. What up, Alley Cat? Uh, it's, cataloging is going all right. I don't know how many I've cataloged so far, but it feels like a lot. How do I catalog a twin pack? Do I catalog the game separately? Okay, yeah, I will, because the, the game discs are separate. I was at 60 games yesterday. That had no PC games in it. I had not started my PC games until just now. Well, three hours ago. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, so I'm cataloging them to, uh, so not only so people don't send me in uh, things I already have, because this will be a public list, but it's also so while I'm out and thrifting, I can check my own collection. This song, Cosmo, is Passion Bait by Trio Leo. Nightmare Ned. No, I, no, nothing found. You've heard it before because I, this is one that I probably play a lot. Hurl, H-U-R-L. Hilarious nonviolent 3D action game. That's not what that's the that's not what that stands for. This one's great. Ba -da 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 -da. Hurl. Hilarious nonviolent 3D action game. It's it clearly says that it stands for something. I forgot that someone sent in a Comedy Central, like, comedy routines? No way it's gonna have this. AVGN did hurl? I believe that. That sounds right up his alley. You need to stop getting the cheesy music stuck in your head. No, it's in my head, so it's gotta be in your head, too. Who made this? Oops. Convince your dad to get ultimate cheeseburger from Jack in the Box. That sounds good. I've had too much fast food lately. I really gotta, I really gotta stick with the Hello Fresh for a, a, a little while. <laughs> oh hey, yeah, there's my little link. If you click it, yeah. Oh, I've I've added two hundred and nine. PC games so far today. Good sponsor. If I was a good sponsor, I would drop my, uh, I would drop my HelloFresh link. Oh shit! Look what I got! I do have it. 
So for everyone trying to send me this game, I do, I already have it. I, I, the cover, I was like, I'm pretty sure I've got it. I'm pretty sure I've got it. Comes in a crazy fold out. Really looking forward to it. Maybe this ends up on a Bingo 98 card. That's something I'd want to win. All right, the Learning Center. Okay, so that is all of the PC games that are not in the binder or, wait, nope, 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 I found more, I found more. We're never done. This should be it though, maybe. Oh! Don't worry, I didn't drop them. Commander Blood. A space adventure with major attitude. Okay. Jump scare? Where was the jump scare? Oh, I almost dropped all that shit. Forgot about it, even though it happened a couple seconds ago. Good uh, exercise for insurance purposes. I can put in the estimated value and multiply times your collection in case of theft. That's true, that's true. This is everything I do, I do for insurance purposes. How often do you have to talk to the people that supply insurance to you? Is that is that something you're supposed to check up on? Like, hey, my insurance is good, right? Tonka Construction. Do insurance companies recognize the emotional or the sentimental value that all these PC titles hold? Because they really, really are worth more than what eBay's gonna, gonna say. Do you have the game called TurboTax? I sure do. One of my favorites. Oh, dude. Metal Jesus Rocks had flooding? He's got a pretty big collection, too. I just... You know, I just assume that's not going to happen to me. <laughs> I just assume that... Everything will be fine, you know? The game breaks, do I remove it off here or find it myself? I don't know. That's never happened before because I'm just now setting it up. I would think that I would remove it until I got a new copy. Yeah, water in Washington never happens. It's a desert up here.
You guys know Gothos? Anybody, can anybody vouch for Gothos? It's got this Yabos lady on the front here, uh, which really makes me want to play it. The unique attitude adjuster changes conversations based on the tone of your answer. I don't know if it's like an interactive story. It's on three discs. It's like huge. It says tone of my responses. Is it is it using a, surely it's not using a microphone. That sounds advanced. Oh, it's an FMV game? Hell yeah. Well, now I'm interested. Does it look good? Oops. Yeah, I'm cataloging these for personal records and so uh, potential generous donors can look through my collection before sending me something. Because there's been a, an uptick in people wanting to send me Windows 98 games. Yeah, I'm trying to not get 50 copies of Titanic in the mail. Oops. Lego Creator Knight's Kingdom? Did we play this? I've got this weird memory that maybe we played this. The eventually for auction, eventually, I'm not gonna auction the collection. I'm getting buried with this shit, man. Or uh, cremated with it. It's gonna be me and a bunch of fucking plastic smoke. That's how I'm gonna go up. Blank. Empty. Empty. Uh, it's... It, it, I don't think it's like Bingo 98. I think it's... Oh, no. No, no, no. I think I'm actually thinking of... Extreme Stunts. That Lego Island 3. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Rugrats Adventure Game. We'll play that again. This... Oh, this was on the list. We didn't get to this. Mission to McDonald Land. We did not hit that on uh, the first season. But it looks awesome. I think everyone's Australian in this game, but I'm not positive. Bum. 
Come on. Boom. Okay, now I think that's all the PC games that aren't in a binder. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to do the binder some other time. I'm going to wrap it for now. This is it. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to catalog anymore today. I need to do something else with my time that's not <laughs> entering a bunch of titles into the catalog. Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll stream entering the others. Maybe not. It'll be less interesting because I'm not picking up boxes or showing off occasional boxes. Uh, but thank you for joining me for this uh, cataloging stream. I got a lot cataloged, which will be very helpful in the coming months uh, to convey which Windows 98 games I already have. My plan is to get them done before Bingo 98 Season 2, so I'll go through there. Uh, see you tomorrow? Uh, no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is a day off for me. So, maybe Wednesday. Maybe you'll see me Wednesday. I'm gonna read Animorphs tomorrow. And uh, hopefully if the weather's good, sit in the sun. It's gonna be nice. Looking forward to it. How many did I, let me see how, real quick, how many? I cataloged 226 games today. Pretty decent. Really wish more barcodes had worked, but you know. Still pretty good. So I'm gonna go work on some other stuff, eventually work on more Bingo 98. I'm still rushing to get that done. I'm really excited for you guys to see it because I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really taking, uh, taking a chance <laughs> here with one of the things I'm doing. Very excited for it. Shut up, Clara Mendez. That's it. Um, Mitch, o, uh, Mitch Odamas, thank you for the prime sub. Yeah, now you guys get to visit the goodbye guy. Thanks as always for hanging out and watching. If you're looking for my media list, it's libbib.com slash you slash brutal moose. If you're watching on the VOD, I'll put the link uh, in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Well, I'll, I'll try and do something fun next time. If I do come back, I won't catalog. I'll do, I'll do something. I'll play a game or something, you know? All right. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck with all those tasks you guys are working on. Oh. LF Rebel 603 thank you for the two months. And uh, adios all. See you guys soon. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>